Today, I would like to share with you some uh, work of the group of people who are an analyzing the Bitcoin price evolution, the capitalization of Bitcoin through the whole history of this asset. And they uh, report on some impressive indicators and some results about the predictions of the tops and bottoms of the price. And today they have basically a few hours ago, they made an update uh, in this article on Medium. And this is, I would say, like um, just a few hours ago. So I it's, it's very interesting. I would like to show you and this and actually the conclusions which they made and add some uh, my, my personal opinion why I think they are actually um, more bearish than they should be and why their indicators are showing even even more than they think and they actually showed our that us that the bottom was in on 3150 in my opinion so those are David Puyol, if I am Puyol, Puyol, if I am Puyol, I think, if I'm not mistaken with pronunciation of his name. And this is another one, Willie Wu. We already talked about the, the him and other people who are making very interesting indicators, uh, predicting the price of Bitcoin based on, on the blockchain behavior. And today we have this update. So basically, the most important thing is that they made this indicator, which is called Delta Cap. And this is the difference between realized cap and average cap. So realized cap, realized capitalization is basically the um, capitalization of uh, all the Bitcoins which were moved, uh, which, which includes their price during the, their uh, last movement. So uh, USD value paid for all the Bitcoins in circulation. Uh, and um, as some people, some this Nick Carter said, it can be described as on-chain volume weighted average price. So indeed, like when you mine this coin or when you move the bit, bit, uh, one of bi uh, Bitcoin or many Bitcoins, then you can calculate its uh, price at during this process, and then eventually you can uh, have the whole um, capitalization, which is then uh, called realized capitalization. Another one is average capitalization. And <clears throat> average capitalization is, instead of having a moving average of 200 or something, uh, they have it uh, through the whole period of time, and then um, uh, cumulative simple moving average that serves as a true mean of whole history of mar market cap. So this is sort of a um, ultimate average capitalization. So they, they plot it on the one chart and they have it like this. So this is the capitalization in blue line. Um, then, so they have it in the one chart and blue line is the total capitalization of Bitcoin. This orange line is realized capitalization and this uh, dot line is uh, average capitalization. So what you can see is that well, we actually covered already realized cap and now we, they have the average cap which is was, was which was touched by the price or the, by the total capitalization in 2011 and they was it was also very close to this uh, bottom in 2015 and now it's quite far from the price from the capitalization in 2019 so they were stating that you see we need to go closer to this um, average capitalization and then what they do is that they have this difference as you remember delta capitalization and then they have this uh, on the other chart so this is capitalization in green and this purple line is delta cap so delta cap was touched by the capitalization here here and they say that it didn't it wasn't really touched here well it, it was actually with a little just very little and still we are declining so oops so like um we should go um higher from that higher 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 than this delta cap in order to be sure that this is the uh bull market or at least the bottom was in however uh, without going that uh, further i just want to make make a short notice that you see this is this was actually piercing this delta cup a lot this was just touched it and here if, if you follow this trend so in principle in this period you should be you should see that the price the capitalization wouldn't touch it at all so there should be some a gap between them like the same thing with with average capitalization so here it, it touched it here it was a gap so if you would follow the same logic then average capitalization should touch this line but it didn't so here then you may expect that the total capitalization will not touch this average capitalization and the, the gap will be even higher so what they do next is that <coughs> they um, 
so say that the the those three capitalizations are sort of um, resonate with each other and especially they uh, show the position of the tops very nicely when these two converged realized cap and delta cap and you see there one two three four times very nice indicator of the top so in principle if we'd have this indicator before we all will sell at, at 20,000 right so again what they say that at the bottom these two uh, average capitalization and delta capitalization they are uh, close to each other very much and here as well but here it's not so again what i must say that oh, and and their conclusion that they should be much closer to see the bottom first this was mu much after the bottom so bottom was here this was the period after that bottom was here this was the period after that and actually it was the time when the bull period bull market started moreover here the price the the um, uh, delta capitalization didn't touch average capitalization so again you may expect and and at this area it was quite quite a lot of the intersection between the, those two um intersection period so uh, you may expect that you because of this trend you would have less um, um, closing between these two and then probably at a certain point of time when you see the uh, those two start will start to go apart from each other so the difference between them will be higher then the bottom will be actually before this point so I would say that based on this trend you would see some few months around here where those those two will be going closer and closer and then at some point they will go uh, in different ways so like this um, delta cap will be uh, will uh, rise higher than the average cap which would be the in indicator that the bottom was quite far from that period like quite a few months ago maybe even 3150 just my speculation so what do they also do and uh, of course everybody wants to see that they make this mvdv indicator and mvdv is market value to delta value so market value is the value of the um, uh, bitcoin uh, uh, taken from the uh, market from the uh, realized uh, market cap so like realized market cap divided by the number of bitcoins you would have market value and delta value is delta delta capitalization divided by the number of bitcoins so you have delta value it's it's in dollars so then they plotted this uh, together with the price and what they see that of course the again the top what is um, traced pretty tops are uh, indicated pretty much uh, nicely here here and here and then also they say the bottom despite the tops getting lower and lower and they say that oh that's that's okay because the market becomes uh, more mature and uh, the longer cycles are required and the um, liquidity should be bigger than before in order to reach the same all-time high or like just all-time high so you would expect that this indicator will go um, ch pri um, line will go lower but the bottom they said <coughs> it's pretty much more like more stable and it's it stays in the same relatively same same level but even even i would say actually it's not because this was much lower this was uh high and this was even was a little bit more a little bit higher than that and uh actually based on all of those three data data charts this and this and this one you may say that currently we are oversold so we should see increased in price already and we may not even touch this area so maybe this was too low in fact so uh, and yeah if we actually will look at the price at the bitcoin uh, somewhere around let's go to the daily chart somewhere around this area and let me show you the volume here so if you'd expect that this was the bottom then the volume is perfect at, at this bottom okay so you would you would think that this was the bottom and then we shall go like this but instead of that more manipulation came and that's why we see this fake bottom right right at this point so if you would exclude this in and and consider all the previous um, data points then you would see that this actually should be higher and the, all other um, data should be more reasonable and would would uh, reflect the trend here much in a much better way so again in any case even even this picture shows that the bottom was in in my personal opinion of course they have this uh, limitation showing that this is like experimental work but you see 
it works pretty pretty nice and another thing about from from Willy Wu I must say that he made some additional um, clarification and some details so also he made this 35x uh, multiplied average uh, capitalization here you can see and it traces the tops very well and basically he said that if you'll continue that then you would have ninety thousand dollars as the next uh, top next all-time high for bitcoin well it's actually very hard to um, make the total the, the the correct evaluation because we have basically just one point and this was pretty much different so it's not not really clear how the market will behave next cycle and what will be the maximum but still interesting another thing is that he is uh, drawing this nvt uh, network um, value uh, transaction as we also talked before about it so it he basically what he does is that he is making it uh, for different um, domains and uh, this domain spans like 128, 200, 320. So he uh, makes this um, drawing in the same chart and he said that with those domains um, chart do, domains curves different domains curves um, intersection they also predict sort of the bottom area so when they they when they intersect they are um, indicating the bottom here and here and also he said that here there's no such a thing and basically he zoomed it in and you, they say that well it's it's sort of um should be should should be somewhere at two thousand dollars when when they will uh, if they will evolve the same way but again guys this was pretty much the point where they should um, intersect and where the, the trend should be changed. So this is abnormal behavior, in my personal opinion. In any case, this is their work and very nice work. I really appreciate what they do and they seem to be making a nice, um, a lot of work actually and uh, quite a lot of statistics. So I would like to end this with the update from Renato Shirakashi. We already talked about his work before in previous videos and also his NVT indicator um, behavior and what he he updated just this very few hours ago what he said that he uh, before he plotted this NVT versus the price um, evolution of Bitcoin and he found that this pattern of the of the price of the NVT is very very similar for the bottom before in 2014-15 and now in 2019 or 18th as well so he saw, saw this one two three four five uh, peaks and now we have the bottom, lows and highs and now we have one two three four five possibly five so he said that we are like approaching this if we will see that eventually here then it's very very likely i mean if, if will, the, the nvt will go high from that then it's very likely that indeed this was the bottom as well as this was the bottom before so very very interesting to to look at this and to uh, follow this uh, chart if we'll indeed see this see this with it like few weeks maybe two three weeks already or or maybe faster maybe a little bit slower but still if this will go up then it, it's one more confirmation very strong in my opinion uh, based on nvt on blockchain transactions uh, that we have this bottom in already hope that it was useful for you guys it's in an, an interesting if yes i hope to see you tomorrow in the next videos and thank you for watching this video today safe trading goodbye